So what's up everybody? Let's take another quick look at GM's last true luxury coupe, the 12th generation Cadillac Eldorado, produced from 1992 to 2002. This here is a 1998 model. This is the Turin Coupe, which was Cadillac's sportier version of the Eldorado. Equipped with Cadillac's 32-valve V8 North Star system, the Turin Coupe produced 300 horsepower at 295 foot-pounds of torque, capable of 0 to 60 in under 7 seconds quite fast for the time actually was a hot rod similar to Lincoln's own Mark 8 LSC model this here is finished in the um, diamond white with the shell interior has every available option on this specific model equipped with the Bose tape player and CD in dash and the 12 disc changer in the trunk moonroof fog lights leather interior body colored grill and moldings it has the dealer style chrome wheels with the white wall tires beautiful example of Cadillac redeeming itself from the 86 to 91 11th generation Eldorado which was a disaster by all accounts on sales figures. Although in the later years of the 11th generation, it started to look okay, but it was still too short. So when this came out in 1992, it and his sister, the Cadillac Seville, which was uh, Motor Trans Car of the Year, really redeemed itself. This one has the quad exhaust and the rumble that only the North Star could get. Many people deride the North Star, but I've had mine now five years and I have not had any issues. General maintenance, it does uh, need a little bit of work right now, like the coolant tank actually has a crack in it. Um, which is from the hot and cold weather here in Chicago, but no overheating, none of that. I actually just got it washed, so I wanted to do a night video. Somebody put a ding on from a shopping cart on my passenger fender but other than that it has no major dents a few scratches here and there but overall very good car mechanically and cosmetically the interior still looks mint And Cadillac sold roughly about 25, 30,000 of these each year. And in 2002, they discontinued it, which I'm not understanding because they were near their anniversary and I felt like they should have did a 13th generation. The XLR 
was a Cadillac Roadster, which competed with Mercedes Benz. So, to me, that's not a proper successor to the Eldorado. Not to the nameplate. This one has the factory sunroof as well. I mean, I'm sorry, spoiler as well. Let's take a look at the interior really quick. turn the lights on have the genuine Zebrano wood trim how's the two position memory seats heated seats which will heat you right out of the car even on the lower setting they get really 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 hot quick as you can see, I have the disc changer on from the trunk. It's a 12 disc changer. And it has the tape player, which still works, and the in dash CD player. So actually, it holds 13 CDs if we're being direct. This one has a tachometer and speedometer. 140 mile power speedometer. Takes premium unleaded fuel only. Full gauge package. Seats are in really, really good condition. Turn the car off. Don't want to waste gas. But just wanted you guys to see the interior. Still mint, I don't think anybody's ever sat back there. Not really. Steering wheel, nowhere. Hardly anywhere in the seats. I was 90,000 miles that I've put on in five years. The rigid was at 78, so I've put like maybe 12,000 miles in five years. I use it now as my daily driver. Originally it was a um, a car I just drove here and there. A tree also fell on the car during the storm and put that ding right here, as you can see, which also damaged my antenna at the time. So I was able to get it down, but the antenna needs to be replaced. But other than that, that ding and the ding on the front fender, no other dings on the car. As you can see, it's a pretty gorgeous diamond white. But just wanted to do a quick review on the 1998 12th generation Cadillac Eldorado Touring Coupe. And how Cadillac does not make them like this anymore. They still make the, they still make cars, thank God, unlike Lincoln, which I don't know what they're doing. But the CT5 is a beautiful car, and the V, of course, of that. And now they have the Celestic, but they have a new um, car that they just announced. I cannot think of what the name it is, but it's a two door. If they were smart like me, <laughs> they would call it El Dorado. But other than that, thanks everybody for watching. Take care.